Welcome back to Let's Play Terra Enigma. We just slipped basically the entire castle a sleeping potion from some dude, and everybody's asleep. And they uh, remind me of the hero from Seven Saga, except it's not blue. But what we can do now, ha ha, is not go in here. There's one place we haven't been able to go to where we found the princess's room. Everybody's asleep. I assume everyone ate stuff? And then just went to sleep? It's kind of odd. How they're all sort of in their same place, but yeah, we'll go back. This place is a bit confusing, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, everybody's asleep here too. It's kind of creepy how well that potion worked. Just a bit creepy, but yeah, go in here. Basically go straight up, straight up. For hot, hot news. This is the guest room, right? Yep. Go in here to the third floor through the secret staircase magic. This is another place. Oh, oops. Oh, the music. <gasps> if it is not the princess. Hmm. <gasps> what princess? Why are you awake? Didn't you eat? She's on to us with her dots. Bye, princess! Ah, you fit! Ark. Looks like the princess dislikes you. <laughs> Get lost, she looks just like Ellie. But her personality's opposite. I don't know, like... <sighs> okay, if you're in love with someone and you ran into someone, like, who looked like their twin, would you still be like, they should love me just like that? It's, it's creepy. It's creepy. I know this is a fantasy RPG, but you shouldn't be like, Oh, this person is obviously a twin. So yeah, this is a weird thing. You can push this dude. Uh, I got stuck here when I first played this game. I didn't know you could push him, but now we can go to basically the king's and the queen's room. This is the princess's room. There's a bed and pretty pots, because what princess doesn't need pink, pretty clay pots? Yup. And this must be the king's room. Mm. What do you have to say? Slur, don't touch that statue. Ugh. So yeah, uh, the thief I think told us of this, or the guard, you push the statue, is pretty obvious. And you can crawl through here, and now we're in a tower! Shazam. Every RPG needs a repeating tower. And a magic rock. But you get something really important in here. Guess what it is? It's the protect bell. So, remember they were like, yeah, we couldn't get to that forest to, you know, slaughter all those people. Now you can with the protect bell. And the protect bell is, uh... Kind of reminds me of Legend of Zelda in a bit. Or Secret of Evermore with the owls, but... I think it's every time you go to a correct area in the game, like in the screen, it rings. So, yeah. Kind of like an, if you ever played Secret of Evermore, there's an area in the game where you. G well, actually, Final F let's do with Final Fantasy Nights because it's the same thing. <laughs> where the owls do not go, or whatever it says. But yeah, there's a. Uh, Basically, every time you go to that screen and there's an owl or a gremlin sitting on the branch, you follow that lead. And in Final Fantasy IX, you go to the opposite. You go to the other side. What was a timber thing? Ugh, I haven't played Final Fantasy in forever. I have no interest of completing Final Fantasy VIII 100%. That's just not my thing. So. Oops, I went into the mush forest again. Now that we have the Protect Bell, doo -doo -doo, we can go to Nor. Oh, ooh, it's Roid. Hello, sir. 
But you're going not in this forest. Don't be foolish, you haven't heard of fiends in this forest. Yes, I have. It's an RPG. I think I'm good. So you could go here before, but even if you get... <sighs> you really intend to enter the forest, child. Okay, I don't know how old I am, but I'm pretty sure I'm not just a child, so whatever. Also, I'm like 30 years old. Like me, the person speaking. You have spirit, at least. Be careful. It's not all fiends that live in the forest. Yeah, there's also woofs, apparently. Ding. Protect the ring out. So yeah, that's what, that's what we're looking for. So yeah, there's bats, there's woofs. Uh, as far as I know, you cannot beat this game- this part of the game without the protect bell. Like, it's just- it's too difficult. Oh, here's the woofs! Oh, the woofs are here. Why do you say woof? I say werewolf. I say woof. Is there anything behind these, uh, trees? Nope. I say woof, I say werewolf. Why, uh... Honor of my mom, she always says woof, or she even even when she says the word roof, as in the oop, pick a ring out. Even when she says roof, as in, like a, a roof of a house, she says roof. It's just, it sounds way more adorable to say woof. Where woof? Okay, so here's where it starts splitting up in the magical paths. I'm gonna go right, see if that helps. Nope. Ah, yeah, so the wolves are the quote-unquote saber dogs will howl for help. As far as I can tell, that just summons more. It doesn't throw anyone into a weird direction. Nope, see? The protect bell's not ringing out. See, the issue with this place is everything respawns. But, I mean, we've got good stats already. You should be around level 20 when you come here, though. You're- oh. Well, we found the right the direction. Nine, ten, you know, that was the last direction anyway. <laughs> uh, kill everything. You want to be level 25 before you fight the next boss. Remember how they talked about Spain? We have to fight uh, someone in Spain. And the level... I've expl- uh, the bell didn't ring, but I've explained this before, but the levels in this game don't really scale up normally. Like, say in Pokemon or Final Fantasy or even Dragon's Quest, like, oh, I got one- I got one strength and one magic. Well, now my magic does a little more damage, or maybe even one damage or two damage. Not true in this game. Uh, I've explained this before probably in a previous episode, but- Ring? Yeah, okay, good. But- even if it's just one strength, one defense, it's exceedingly helpful. You can get one strength and you go from doing 10 damage to an enemy to like 50. It is very odd and you definitely need those levels to defeat the hardest boss in the game, which as I said is in Spain, which is hilarious. If you know your history, you know exactly who she is at this point. They kind of hinted at it with Henry and... They... <sighs> so... <sighs> ah, so... <laughs> Let me just go to the... Oh, nope. So this game... You can see it's sort of now following somewhat human history. Kind of. I, I, I use heavy, heavy air quotes and I use that... With, like 10% of that is true. There is insanely bad history in this game. <sighs> they glance over everything. I'm gonna go over it. I'm just telling you, if you're expecting super, super important, you know, oh, here's history, you're not gonna get it in this game. Huh. Did nothing ring? Weird. It rang when I came up here, right? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, this game is almost- it's like, it's history erasure, there's- there's racism. It wasn't over here, left. Okay, at least we can kill a wolf over and over. You should be able to kill these wolves pretty easily, as I am. I think they're weak to holy, so if you don't have the holy rod- and it wasn't up. Ah. There we are. And- whoa. While I don't think the bats 
I'm pretty sure even if you're under leveled, like you're level, you know, 18 or something, you should be able to kill the bats in one hit. They're bats. Video game bats are very good at being killed in one hit, unless it's, like, Ocarina of Time. Da-ding! Ah! Excellent. Okay. I really like this area of the game because it reminds me of my, uh, my occupation. As an ecologist, I walk through the woods a lot. Cool. I'm just guessing. I sometimes use a walkthrough. By the way, spoilers. I use a walkthrough very, very rarely if it's something that's super complicated where if I was to do all of the options, it would literally take a whole episode. Okay, can't do this way. But it's very rare. I've, I'm not using a walkthrough right now. It's just memory and fighting woofs. Wow, this guy's dodging. But yeah, uh, I love forests. I walk through forests. Yay! Dingy! Love pine trees. Oh, white pine, man. White pine smells so good. Ah! I did not know wolves can poison me, so... Remember how I said poison doesn't come in the... You know, any impact in this game? Well, it does now. So I'm actually- I should have a peek here. Shazam. And since I'm at 149, no, I want to you My last S-bulb. Dun dun dun. But yeah. Ooh, and ticks! Oh. I'm so sorry if you live in an area with a lot of ticks. So, I live in like the- ooh, I'm just guessing, man. I live in like the northern United States, and even in Canada this has been happening. So, because of global warming and just heated winters in general, we haven't really had a deadly enough winter to kill all the ticks. Which is bad. So, ticks is just- they're just flying up. In my job- oh, I'm just guessing once again. In my job, though, I deal with ticks regardless. I have to know how to get rid of them, I have to know what to do, and yeah, I have I have a knife on- oop, sweet. No, no, I have a knife on my belt that I just cut ticks in half with. You can't really squish them, so I just cut them in half. Because usually when me and my team search for ticks, we're, uh, we're in, like, a truck driving to another location, or we're taking, like, a water break. Let's go up. And we need that, you know, we just sort of- Okay, protect bell rang out. Bridge? Oh, these are new, so... These are basically... Okay, not many came. They're just like the fire ones, but all they do is fly at you and then they're gone. But yeah, ticks, oof. I have to wear a uniform, I have to be careful. I have my, my pants tucked into my shoes or my boots. I have my shirt tucked into my pants. Ugh, the bats, they immobilize me. Cause they're so cute and I'm sorry I have to kill you bats. I think? Eh. But yeah, be very very careful with ticks. I've never actually had a tick latch on to me. I've probably had about 20 or so on me. Not at once, but like over time. Ugh, it's like creepy now. What the butt is this? that stupid centipede thing from the... I don't think you can kill these. I think this is just dodge time. Yeah, okay. Ooh, a chest. Okay, got some gems. I gotta heal. Yes, please be careful with ticks. I might, I might sound like they're not serious, but if you're just a casual... Let's actually use the sleepless seal. But yeah, with ticks, if you're if you're just a casual hiker or you're going even to a soccer game or playing golf, just please be careful. Ooh, there's a shadow. For some reason, that reminded me of piranha piranha plant from Mario. I don't know. Ooh, did you see that? It was like a fire demon. Look at that thing. It's like if Ku Klux Klan became witches. Where am I going? Ah! Something's wrong. My spider sense. I get the feeling someone is trailing me. The ghosts. An animal. Well, 
It'd be actually cool if animals would track you and all of a sudden a bear. What about me? Mm, I'm not scared. I'm Ark. That's right. When it comes to Ark, nothing is scary. Ha! <laughs> a ghost, a toast, a roast. Ah, uh, bring him on. I wonder what that was in the original Japanese. <sighs> I love how he's like a ghost, a toast. Like, yeah, because like an actual ghost, if it, you know, an actual real live ghost would be... Way more scary. I guess if it was like a possessed piece of toast, like, ah, the bread, it comes for me. And you're like gluten intolerant or you have, you know, something that messes up your indigestion when you eat. Gluten. And then a roast, I don't know, maybe if you're super vegan. I'm not sure. Holy bats! I don't know. I'd pick a roast or some toast over- Oh! <gasps> Yark! There's a sunscreen from behind! What? <gasps> oh my god! The bats are eating- Oh, it's this creepy girl. The bat should have had you. Can I talk to you? <sighs> Mylin. Why? Ah, that'd be scary! I don't know why there's so many bats- Like, if you've ever been in the woods at night, which I have- yeah, bats can get stuck in your hair, but they're not, like, seeking you. What are you doing here? <laughs> I was just bored. You were just bored, so you went into a haunted, spooky forest. Okay. Hey, Orc. Really strong. <sighs> Going to Stockholm. Supposed to be in this forest. See, they call it Stockholm because it's a reference to Stockholm because she kill he killed his entire her entire family. I'm getting pronouns messed up. He killed her entire family. And then now it's like, you're my daughter, because you're an orphan now. Poor orphan. And okay, I'll, I'll stop. <sighs> I'll get with you, I promise I won't get in your way. Okay, the music has stopped. Spooky forest. But yes, once again, ticks. Please check for ticks if you go anywhere. They're everywhere now. Never ever kill a possum either. Don't kill possums. They're so good against ticks. I think they eat like their weight in ticks, or double their weight in ticks, like every day. And they're- they're adorable, they're pretty much non... Uh, aggressive. I don't think those guys drop gold. What's in here? Ooh, very important. The music, it tells me that's important. But, uh, possums are very non-aggressive. First, they can never get rabies. Second... Yeah, the whole play dead thing? It's pretty- they're, they're not aggressive, they don't, you know, like raccoons, yeah, they'll fight for their food. You know, feral dogs, scary, feral cats can be scary. Bears, holy crap. Not really so much. Possums are just, you know, they're just scared, they just want to get away from you, they just want to eat. Uh, I don't recommend running, you know, up to pet one, but uh, if you see one, like, by your car or in your trash, like, you don't need to gas your entire house to get rid of it. You just kind of need to leave it alone. Oh, it's not dark anymore. What does that mean? I have no idea. Oh, I love the bats! I'm sorry I have to kill the bats. There's a game I played, uh, Halloween Forever by someone I sorta know, Peter. Pete. He's got kitties. I know everyone who owns kitties. No, I don't. Uh, but he made a game named Halloween Forever. Whoops. Sorry, I bumped the fast forward button. And in that game, you can get an uh, achievement for never killing a bat. And the bats are very infrequent. Uh, here's the bridge again. The bats are very infrequent in that game, so it's pretty easy. This is a platformer game, by the way. It's not... I guess that's the other side of the bridge. But yeah, this is a platformer game, so you never ever really have to kill... You know, like, in this game, an RPG, if you kill stuff, you're getting gold, you're getting experience, whatever. In this game, you know, in the Halloween Forever... Oh, jeez. You, you know, you don't have to kill stuff, it's a platformer. If you could dodge it, like in Castlevania or Mega Man... It's an obstacle. When you get past it, you're past it. Like I said, these guys just... Fly at you. And they're yellow- or they're blue. There's me again, obsessing over Yellow Diamond. Oh, I have a huge, huge, huge love of, uh, ooh, M-Bulb. I have a huge love of Steven Universe. Just a fun show at all. Okay, maybe this is the other side? I don't know. 
Oh, I haven't heard the bell ring. Like, I assume the bell was just for the first part of the level? I don't know. These guys are freaking me out, though. Oh, cool, Magirock. By the way, I'm not gonna show where every Magirock is. Some of them are, like, sort of semi-secret things that you can get, where you can return to old areas and, like, do a little minigame to get them. Basically, by this point in the game, you kind of have enough Magirock to do what you want. I'm gonna use some magic right now because I just talked about Magirock, but... Basically, all you re I keep saying basically, you really just want a decent amount of grass pins, probably max later on, but right now just a few. Remember, grass pins heal everything. And a few of the... Uh... Screen wiping things. Here's electric ring. Sucking in the energy. This reminds me of Sylph from Final Fantasy IV for some reason. It doesn't even look like it. It looks more like Missile from Breath of Fire 2, but it just reminds me of Sylph. And that funny glitch where I think you can put Sylph in like the top left of your spell list and you get to cast it for free. I don't know, there's glitches in so many Final Fan- Ooh, what's this? Okay. I'm just gonna save the state here because I've messed up here before, so... Ah! The water things, they hurt. Okay, you go up here. I have died here. Hmm. What's this? You recognize this music? This looks like identical to the village I came from. What's the matter? You started running all of a sudden. I don't know why I'm not giving her voice. Looks identical to my village, bro! Can't be. Real villages often look alike. Yeah. Yeah, they do. With the same enchanting music. Is it just a coincidence? It doesn't just look close. This is what you call identical. Don't have to shout. Come think. Even though I don't know anything about you, Ark. Yeah. So, all of a sudden... Woofs! Oh boy, this is terrifying. <laughs> it's a pack of wolves! Hard thrafters, what do we do? One false move and they'll tear our throats out. What to do? Be the haste retreat? I'm gonna cliffhang us all here because it's been 20 minutes, so yeah. See you next time. Will the wolves eat us? Yes, they will. And then it'll be game over and the game will be over. But yeah, no. But yeah, see you next time. Bye. Don't, don't go into the woods and run into the wolves. Bye.